Hello everybody, once again, I'm Liam Crafton Jr. aka Zorval Chan, less than guru, and today I'm going to go over my mercenary slash sailor. Opposite of the bounty hunter, which I took away a lot of those slashes, this was because when I had made the mercenary and I was going through the books, or rewrote, I'll say I didn't make it, I was rewriting the mercenary, and then I went to the Adventures of the High Seas and saw the sailor, I realized that they were almost the exact same character class. The uh, attribute requirements, the skill selection, etc., was really darn close. And to cut down on redundancy, I just made them into one class. So the sailor is kind of a mercenary on the sea I have. Um, so basically, there are some choices that you can get at the beginning, but the majority of things that you get are going to be the, the same. Uh, the same. So basically, attribute requirement, PS7, that's straight from the book for both the mercenary fighter and the sailor. Um, physical conditioning, men of arms, they're going to have that plus eight. Uh, this is one of the differences. The armor tier, the mercenary, is trained in heavy armor, so they get it tier one. The sailor doesn't want to wear armor, um, especially if they fall overboard. So they're at tier three, which is kind of where the wizards and non-combatants are because they're not accustomed uh, to it. Restrictions are none, occupational. Um, this one here, they both get hand-to-hand -hand mercenary, small shield, scale walls. Scale walls will be used to go up rigging at the masts and, and jumping on or climbing up on the boats, etc. cetera. Um, same as mercenaries will be used at the scale walls, so that's why they have that. Um, one of the things you could say is... Re where the mercenary gets the better armor. Here, the sailor gets better or more skills. It's one of the balances. Balances don't always have to be perfect equivalents, but they if one's a mechanical balance. The other one should be a mechanical balance, in my view. Um, so the mercenary, they get forced march. Sailors really don't have to worry about marching, so they're going to get rope works, they're going to get sailing, and they're going to get swim. So they're going to gain three skills um, automatically that the mercenary doesn't, the mercenary gets forced march. Um, so that's how that works. So at level one, that's where you get your basic skills, both elective and secondary. You get your two hit points at level two. Your, at level three, your elective secondary skill add-ons. Um, then at level five, you get your uh, shock points, some more shock points. At level six, quick, when we get into the abilities over here, I'll explain that. But that's one of their special abilities. Um, number seven is the uh, plus two additional hit points. Then we get some skills at eight, some additional shock points at level nine, jack of all trades at 10. And I want to say at least the jack of all trades might be something that uh, was in one of the other Palladium books. I don't know if it was specifically Palladium uh, second edition or if it was Rifts or, or something like that. But again, I saw something that I liked from those editions. I would bring them over to first edition and use them as the, you get something every level. Um, so they get the, the jack of all trades and then a couple of skill selections. And then you get uh, additional hit points and then some more secondary skill and then some shock points. So they, they start off with lower amount of skills, but they get a little extra boost here for some secondary skills at the end. Elective skills, these are the elective skills that you are able to get. Um, they can get any weapon proficiency except for lance and longbow. Um, the secondary skills, these are the ones that give them bonuses, so they can choose any from the, the main secondary skill list, but these are the ones that give them bonuses. Um, quick, they can add 10 feet um, to combat speed, so that is uh, really good co uh, combat movement. Uh, is one that in, in my game, and I've explained it in, in how combat works, having more movement means you can you, you don't end up in a place that you can't act because you can't get to your target or you can't get in range of your target. Um, so mercenaries being able to be quick and move in combat is helpful. And then the jack of all trades is they just get a plus 5% to all base skills. They're mercenaries. They're, half, they're not supplied by a country or a city or like a soldier is they just got to learn to do everything on their own they're responsible for a lot of stuff so any skill they have that's a 
percentage based skill, boom, plus five percent to all skills. Um, then the starting equipment that they uh, get, and then again, like I talked about with the experience chart. It's the same as Palladium with just the, instead of being 1,901, it's 1,900. And it's in red to show you that that's the amount of experience you need when you're moving from one occupation to a mercenary soldier. Your XP is frozen and you need to gain 1,900 XP. And then once you gain that, you're level one. That 19 you gave, got, gained, goes away and then you need to make 1900 more accumulate that before you get to level two so having said that that is my mercenary slash sailor and how i took two occupations that were practically for all intents and purposes identical and combine them with just a, a couple of choices you choose mercenary you gain this you choose sailor you gain this everything else is the same without having to re redo the, the same thing twice. So having said that, once again, I'm Lynn Crafton Jr., a.k.a. Zorval Chan, less than Guru, and until next time, I will catch you later.